Emoji Kitchen lets you combine different emoji to make new ones. For example, if you combine this ghost with this avocado, you get this. We'll see if it can guess this one. I think it's ghost and avocado. Nice. Now let's see if it can explain the visual details it used. The emoji has the shape of a ghost but it is green and has a big brown pit. Let's see if our multimodal oh, model, Gemini, can find the similarities between images. We'll start with these two, the Bosch's Chapel and this print by Hokusai. And I'll prompt Gemini, find a connection between these two images. Let's see what Gemini says. A curved and organic composition, the building is more refined, and the second image is more fluid. Yeah, that worked. Let's see if our multimodal model Gemini can understand outfits. We'll start with something simple, like this puffer, and ask, what is someone wearing this best dressed to do? Hmm, perfect for staying warm in the tundra. Good color for blending in with glacial ice. Okay, how about another one? Intergalactic travel. Okay, how about this one? To boldly go where no one has gone before and play some jazz. All right, Gemini's got jokes. Now coin a term for that outfit. Mooncore. That's actually pretty good. Let's see if our multimodal model Gemini can guess some movies. All right, we're going to start here. Given the play on words in these images, guess the name of the movie. The Breakfast Club. All right, what about this? Breakfast at Tiffany's. All right. What about this? Uncut gems. Cool, cool, cool. So these are working. Here's a couple more quick tests I ran through. Goldfinger. Nice. Bottle Rocket. Okay. The Wizard of Oz. Nice, nice. Moonrise Kingdom. Okay, this last one's a little more complicated. Forest Gum. Okay, wow. I honestly didn't think it was going to get... I'll start with this image of a tree and just select the part I want, and then ask Gemini, can you turn this image into an SVG? This represents the main shapes of a tree. Let's see. That's pretty good. All right, now I want to try a more difficult test. Let's see if Gemini can make an interactive demo in JavaScript. Okay, here we go. A common algorithm for this is called a fractal tree. Okay, this is pretty cool. Gemini even provided a slider, so I can change and move the fractals. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black, or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue 1. This country is the home of the kangaroo. 
the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue 2. This country loves football and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? Alright, I see you've added a palm tree to the drawing. Change it up with some beachy vibes. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice! What do you think might happen next? The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry, the cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. Okay, I've got one more for you. Describe the drawing I made. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. Nice, that's it.